Bitch off the dirt. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> All right, I'm not going to list this one as comedy because uh, there's kind of nothing funny about it, but it's just a, a, a direct follow-on and an addendum, if you will, to the previous one of these. It is weirdly ironic that uh, I did the gag with the Red Bull. It's not even a gag, sort of the observation, if you will, with the Red Bull cans last night um, because that is something I do a lot, drive home in the middle of the night. You know, um, It's by no means unusual for me to set off at about 10, 11 p.m., uh, for a three or four hour drive home. I tend to do it whenever possible. It's just easier and quicker than staying over and, and generally cheaper than staying over and coming back the next day. Um, but such was not the case tonight. I say tonight, you'll notice it's broad daylight because uh, I recorded that in a service station uh, just outside of York at about 11 p.m. last night. And it is now 12.30 p.m. again and I've just pulled up in front of the house it's taken me 13 and a half hours to get home from York because about an hour after I recorded that little vignette um I ran into some stationary traffic on the A1 around Doncaster that was just after midnight and I was there until half past seven this morning it's the longest I've ever been stuck in traffic is almost the longest I've ever heard of anybody being stuck in traffic there was an incident on the A1 a couple of miles ahead of where I was I still haven't established what the incident was I'm really hoping nobody was killed or injured because it'll have been a big incident you know an incident of sufficient size to block a three-lane carriageway for knocking on for eight hours and anyway finally got moving at half past seven this morning and now I'm back and I have work to do.